So Jamal, we're into the first full day of camp, uh, your first experience of an England 3x3 camp for a while. Um, how are you finding it so far? Yeah, it's been fun. Um, a lot of learning is involved, obviously, trying to figure out how the game works, um, how it feels as well as a player. Um, but yeah, we've got some guys on the team, even myself actually, that's played in 3x3 before. So we're, we're all just kind of combining our, lo our knowledge and, and trying to learn as, as we go. Yeah, I was going to say, you're probably one of the few players coming into camp that has that 3x3 experience. Mm. How do you think that's going to stand you in good stead and maybe help your other teammates that are part of camp this week? Yeah, I think um, obviously sharing, you know, kind of like tips and tricks to the game is, is really important because we've only got a short amount of time to actually, you know, improve and, and get ready to compete. Um, you know, if, if I am lucky enough to be one of the people that are selected, I'd like to think that I can bring that kind of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, experience uh, to the team. Um, but right now there's a lot of energy, uh, a lot of effort and hopefully it pays off. You're coming off the back of a pretty full on 5 on 5 season with the Giants. Um, how have you found your body's feeling, your mind's feeling coming into camp and the transition of having to obviously take on a new format in a short space of time? Yeah, well, I feel good. I feel like mentally and physically really good. It's just a nice little break at the end of the season. Um, you know, I used cryotherapy here in Manchester at the cryo lab. I was using David Lloyd's for, you know, like kind of cool therapy and hot therapy. So I've made sure that, you know, I've recovered well from that long season. Um, but I'm ready to go. Uh, you know, I'm excited to get on the floor. And yeah, I feel great. And on a personal note, it was a, a, very, a good debut season at the Giants. Obviously, a bit of a tough decision to leave riders, but you did well for Giants this season. How would you sum up the change of team and, you know, the change? <laughs> change in your playing career at this stage? Yeah, I think uh, coming to Manchester was a big step in terms of my personal life, um, you know, being able to go home after training um, rather than like a team uh, house. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed the challenge. I think uh, both individually and as a team, we learned a lot over the season. Um, and I'll, I'm thankful for the, for the opportunity that they gave me. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to taking the next step. I spoke to you at a few events now over the last 12, 18 months, like the Summerfield Park yeah. uh, launch in Birmingham, and you've been to other events, but now you've actually got to get stuck into the actual playing side of it. How yeah. does that differ now that you're, you're getting properly immersed in stuck the playing in. side as yeah. well? Yeah, it's awesome, man. It's awesome. Uh, you know, I watch it on YouTube over the summers. Um, I've seen a lot of the competition. I think it's, it's, a, it's a really exciting game, uh, the way they've put it together, especially with the, the ball. Um, it's less time in the games as well. So yeah, it's really nice to actually get in there and get involved with the guys. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the next couple of days. And, it's, and you say the next couple of days and then Romania is a few days away, uh, potentially could be going out there with the team and getting involved in a 3x3 tournament. Uh, like you say, the first one for you for a while. Yeah. How exciting is that experience potentially to be, you know, building up to the games by getting tests in Romania and France as well? Yeah, like I said, if I'm lucky enough to be selected, uh, it'd be a great experience um, to be able to play in the 3x3 at that level as well. Um, it's something that I'm really looking forward to. Um, I love a challenge, so, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting out there and kind of testing where we're at with, against other teams of that level. And speaking of challenges, you've obviously tasted uh, the Commonwealth Games at the Gold Coast in 2018. Yeah. What do you think uh, teammates that haven't gone there before and the country can expect building up to this one? And it's obviously a bit different with the home games as well. Well, yes, yeah, you know, one of the rare times where you're surrounded by uh, high level athletes of so many different sports. Um, so you just feel like you're in a community of, of just performance based people so it's great um, I think people can expect a lot of energy um, you know being in the big moment as well um, all of a sudden the rim feels a little bit lower and the ball feels a little bit smaller so you know people are going to be dunking making shots from like really uh, long range so I think it'd be exciting to watch um, but it's also quite aggressive as well so I think a lot of people are going to enjoy watching it.